not unusual at all for married couples to be engaged in some type of argument and for one of the parties in the, in the argument to call the police and to get the police involved in the argument. Obviously, a lot of times whenever these types of things happen, people will reconsider the events in hindsight and say, I, I really wish that I had not gotten the police involved. Once the police have gotten involved, it's very difficult for you, even as the party who called the police, to stop that process from going forward. And there may, in fact, be formal charges that are processed against your spouse or by your significant other. Um, I want you to know that there are things that you can do to deal with that, that set of circumstances. Number one, as the person who initiated the call, you probably will have to speak to the prosecutor to let them know that you don't wish for your loved one to be prosecuted. Number two, they're probably still going to make you take some steps um, to make sure that whatever type of violent interaction there was, even if there was no physical contact whatsoever, that you, to, you all are taking steps to deal with that to make sure that in the future those types of things don't happen. So just know that even though you call the police, it doesn't mean necessarily that you can stop that ball from rolling down the hill um, just because you decide to put the brakes on. Because um, you very well might not be able to. And it might be a situation in which that case needs to go forward and be defended with the help of a lawyer. So um, if you have questions about it, feel free to call me. My 470